Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to show how we can place an object on a specific location of a slope surface, such as this over here. By the way, this is a requested video. Okay, let's start. The first thing I reckon I need to do is to reorientate the construction plane so that it's aligned to this surface over here. And to do that, we can right mouse click over the view label and then go to set C plane or construction plane. And over here, you can see that there are various options that we can employ to change the orientation of the C plane. Let's try using the three point. Okay. I want to use this three point to reorientate the construction plane and to do that I have to go to object snap and ensure that the end snap is turned on and then Rhino prompts me for the C plane origin so let's use this the y axis direction is this and then another point to establish the construction plane okay and you can see that the construction plane has been aligned to this slope over here Okay, there are more than one way that we can get the construction plane to be aligned here and I'm going to show you another possible way. Let me undo this C plan change again. Uh, to the undo C plan change. Okay, and then let me show you another way that we can do it. Okay, hmm, I reckon I need to select this face here as the object for the alignment and I'm going to use that to object option to set the C plane. To enable the selection of this face, which is a sub object of this thing over here, I need to go to the selection filter and turn on the sub object and make sure that the face can be selected. Okay. And then now let's do a right mouse click over here. Go to set C plane and let's use the two object. Okay. And select the face. And you can see that the construction plane has been reoriented to this slope here. Okay. The next thing I want to do or need to do is to be able to see this face frontally okay to do that you go to the viewport label again and then go to the set view and set it to the plan view so that we can see this plane that is perpendicular to our eye vision okay so click on the plan and you notice that the plane now has been <coughs> repositioned so that we can see it frontally okay that is perpendicular to our eye vision and from here i want to plot out the the center location of the placement okay which is um maybe uh six unit from here and six unit from here okay i can use the offset command to offset the line over here and make sure that the distance is set to your required uh, distance which is 6 in our case here and let me repeat this again okay and do the same over here okay and now I got my location so this is the center placement location of this object okay now what I need to do is to reset back the construction plane and the view to its original state to do that you can do a right mouse click firstly go to set c plane and undo the c plane change okay but you notice that it still look kind of weird in terms of the view so we need to do a right mouse click and go to set view and then reset it back to perspective okay yeah now you can see that 
the view has been reset to its uh, original state. The next thing to do is to start to place this object over here. And to do that, we can use this command, orient surface, sorry, orient object on surface, okay? So I can click on this and ask me select object to orient is this thing. Oh, sorry. Let me um, press the escape because uh, I'm still in the subject mode. So let's deactivate the subject mode and repeat this uh, command again. Orient objects on surface. So select object to orient is this. Enter. Now it asks me for the base point on the surface. I want to get this center. Okay, so let's uh, turn on the center and hover close to the edge. And you can see that, yep, the cursor has moved to this position, as establishing the location of our center. Okay, so I can click on this. And then it asks me for a reference point for scaling or rotation. I actually don't need to do that, so I think I'll just place um any point maybe along here i'm going to press and hold the shift key to just place the other point and now it asks for the surface to orient on we can click on this surface and you ask you um, for some options whether you want to have the prompt for scaling and rotation on in this case, actually, I don't need, but I'll just show you that uh, we can turn it on and click OK. And then point on surface to orient. You have to place it over here. Okay, let me just do a right mouse click and let you see the wireframe. Um, what I need to do is to make sure that the object snap, the intersect is turned on because we need to have the center base point of the object to be placed to be snapped to the intersection point of um, these curves okay so make sure that the object snap the intersect option is turned on and we can click here we don't need to do any scaling if you want to you can just type a different value okay but i'll just leave it as the default value press enter uh, I don't need to change it, press enter and yep, you can see that our object has been oriented to its new location okay, with that I come to the end of this demo hope this has been useful see you, bye